Jennifer Stay from Coloring Pages Bliss and I was going to take a minute here and demonstrate how the Coom Automatic Long Point Pencil Sharpener works. You guys know from the other video that I did on sharpening our color pencils that I am a fan of the Coom Pencil Sharpeners. This one here I picked up because I was really intrigued by getting a very sharp point on my pencils because I'm already getting a really nice sharp point on my pencils using their standard um, pencil sharpener and so I was like whoa I can get even sharper let's see how this works so um, I picked up this one it wasn't very expensive on um, Amazon this little guy is eight to nine dollars but on dicklick.com it's less than five bucks so that's pretty cool and it comes with um, extra blades as well and it opens up like this and the extra blades are right here stored right here and it's a two-step process which is kind of fun because you guys know me I get a kick out of sharpening pencils it really makes me feel blissful and relaxed so we are going to do two pencils here let's sharpen up this is a polychromo Faber-Castell pencil. We'll sharpen that one first. So I have one here already that I sharpened with their standard um, sharpener here. And now we're going to sharpen it in their two-step process. There is a step one in the, this is plastic right here, and it's molded and it says one. So you put it in here and... Um, the video they they provide on their website shows you turning the pencil not the sharpener so that goes against all the things I've learned but we're going to do what they say and see how it goes here so we're going to turn this now the point of blade one is to cut just the wood and not the core so we're going to watch this very carefully and according to the instructions what you're going to do is run the pencil up to that stop zone there. So we're going to watch it. Look at this beautiful long curl that came off. That's so cool. Okay, and then we're gonna go into step two. You can see the two is right in here. And it goes in here. And the point of step two is not to cut the wood, but to trim up the tip now. So it should cut very minimal wood and really hone that point. And I'm just giving it light pressure into the blade there. You can feel it cutting it. And maybe I didn't cut enough of the wood off. I don't think I cut enough of the wood off. Okay, let's go back to step one. that looks more like the picture on the box where the tip looks all square and weird shaped so I think the first time I just didn't cut enough let me see if I hold this really still here I'll put something white behind it so you can see how weird the tip looks I hope you can see that it's all odd Okay, now let's go back to step two. And that's trimming off that weird. So one thing I don't like about this right away is I feel like I'm losing a ton of product to this process to get this nice long tip. But oh boy, are we getting a long tip. Okay. There we have it. There it is compared to 
the other sharpener. We got quite a bit more product showing so we could color for a lot longer. That's pretty neat. But like I said, if you look at this bowl here, we got lots of product laying in the bowl instead of on a coloring page. So I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, let's test out the Prismacolor and see how it handles this cool thing. I'm gonna hit fast forward as I run it through my um, step one here. Okay, I ran it through again until that weird shape on the tip appeared and we got again a nice long beautiful curl. Okay and now let's just gently sharpen up that tip. Okay, so here is our difference between the standard coom and the long point. And let me put the white behind it so you can see. Now I think I could have gone a little bit sharper here if I wanted to, but I got a little bit nervous about losing more product here. So, and again, if you look in my bowl, an awful lot of blue in there. So that's the Coom Automatic Long Point Sharpener. Thanks for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye!